Alan Retro Gamer Girl here. So today I wanted to go through our filming gear, uh, what we do for photos, uh, everything in the room here, uh, what my checklist is and uh, how I set the room up for filming. So today I'm filming on this side of the games room and my checklist entails uh, making sure that the camera is charged that the SD card is within the camera and it's ready to rock and roll. So this is a 64 gig. And I'll also make sure that I have the microphone switched on because I've recorded a few videos and didn't realize until the very end that the mic wasn't on and it's uh, pretty easily done. I also do a quick uh, video as well to make sure it's all in the correct position because I film on my own. And the stand was given to me by a family member, which was really lovely. I just was missing a leg though, uh, a little foot. And the camera I purchased here in Australia uh, on eBay with a 20% discount code. So I will put a link in the description for that. The lights, I use two big box lights. As you can see, they have uh, two settings as well, the warm white, and then the lighter blue, which I do prefer. So they are in their correct position. Then over here, I have to make sure on the checklist that the neons are on and that the LED is on just to give it the glow. And then this is from this side of the camera. And I have to be careful wearing glasses that the light isn't shining too much and bouncing off them. Uh, but I will get into the video now and show all right, so now that I've filmed the video, normally behind the scenes everything will be laying out uh, and it's popped around. So this is where I start to take some photos of all the gear and record some close-up shots. And I do this via the Sony 4K. Uh, occasionally I'll use the GoPro, um, but uh, yeah, take a peek at what I'm doing. <laughs> with my handy cam of all the items that are unboxed. I now have to reset up the room for another video on this side. So stay tuned at all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> set up the lights are slightly on a different position sometimes I shoot them up as well to the ceiling and bounce the light off uh, but I've just had to make sure that the camera is in the right position it might just need a little bit more adjusting uh, the items that I want to talk about are on the table uh, TVs on and LEDs are on as well so and that's what it looks like from this angle Normally sit on a little stool sometimes for these videos as well. So let's get into all of the gear. As you can see, I've got quite a number of items that help me create the YouTube videos that I do today. When I first started YouTube, I actually only ever recorded and took my photos on my DSLR. Now this one uh, I purchased in Japan back in 2012 or 2013, so it's quite old now. Um, it's 16.2 uh, megapixels. Uh, it's better as a camera, obviously, than ever to do any recordings. Uh, they would come out grainy. Uh, as you, if you've been uh, supporting my YouTube channel for a while now, you would know that I uh, didn't show myself in that uh, at those times either. I used to have. Uh, to record in natural light because I didn't have um, the lighting that I do now as well. So this uh, little camera 
got me through um, up to 1,000 subscribers. And thank you everyone that has subscribed, um, but I, I started my YouTube channel based on this little camera. So it is a Sony uh, as well, and um, as I said, 16.2 megapixel. I don't know exactly what model it is now. I don't even have the original box um, next C3. Uh, HD so um, that's uh, what's on it and uh, yeah it's, it's done me well uh, the next big addition to uh, my YouTube channel was when I'd reached a thousand subscribers I did end up grabbing myself uh, the 4k camera which is what is recording right now um, this is the FDR AX53 uh, this retailed for over $1,100, including delivery to my door. I ended up using a eBay 20% off code. Here in Australia, you can look at Ausbargain and they'll sometimes have codes for selected retailers on eBay. Um, I was lucky enough to find that code or have that code emailed to me um, just for a limited time. And uh, I thought it was perfect timing to, uh, you know, obviously invest in a 4K camera. Uh, I don't record my videos currently in 4K, uh, I just do them in 1080p and then I export them in 1080p for YouTube, uh, but I will be going into 4K at a later stage. Um, this is an absolutely excellent camera, it goes above and beyond, it's portable as in the way of it's easy for me to carry everywhere being a handy cam and it doesn't get too heavy when I'm holding it. Um, anything bigger, I think I'd probably struggle a little bit, but I ended up paying uh, $905 delivered to my door for this camera, and it was the best investment I'd made. Next, I wasn't overly happy with the camera microphone. It wasn't that it was bad, um, it just wasn't picking up everything if uh, we were doing a distance shot like this, or I was shooting further away from me um, when I was starting out, and I just wasn't finding that my voice was carrying. So I ended up purchasing um, this video road mic, which is suitable for this camera. Um, it just plugs into the top and screws in and then it goes into the jack on the side. Um, again, this was a few hundred dollars for this particular um, microphone, but uh, it works a treat and I'm very happy that I made this investment as well. Uh, the other item that was a, um, a, uh, a purchase, not an impulse purchase, uh, but I've been wanting to do uh, vlogs for a while when I traveled Japan. And I went to Japan a few months back and I ended up purchasing myself before I went a GoPro Hero 6. I do have the packaging, but I've put it in a safe place like everything else um, and I can't find it at the moment. But uh, this, the battery time is only two hours uh, I do have, um, like it, it, it's great, don't get me wrong, um, but I do have a spare couple of batteries for it because of, you know, when you are recording it does, you know, die pretty quickly. Uh, but I travelled Japan recording just with the GoPro, um, so all my vlogs are, are filmed on this and I absolutely love it. Usually it has four different um, ways, of, three or four different um lens style of capturing that you can use. Uh, if I was, for instance, going to be recording across from me on another angle, I'd just be using the linear. Um, but normally when you will look at any of my picking videos or hunting um, or my vlogs, they will always be in the fisheye view. Um, it's just what I prefer. I prefer to watch it myself. Um, if I see other people's videos like that, I just really think it's neat. Um, but yeah, the GoPro Hero 6 was definitely this was around the $600 mark. Uh, I don't have the exact price um, on this one, but it, yeah, it wasn't cheap at the time. It's now been superseded as I do this video with the GoPro Hero 7. But again, another eBay discount voucher uh, for that one. Um, and along with those lights, I uh, found a 10% discount code for all of eBay. Uh, so as I said, they were 180 and I ended up getting them for 10% off uh, with free delivery. So uh, I always use discount codes on eBay. The other item that I use uh, is my backpack mount. Uh, the GoPro just sits in there and is locked in. I do find that sometimes you can hear this noise 
uh, when I'm recording. Uh, I try my hardest not to move um, my backpack when it is mounted. Uh, I haven't had anyone stop, tell me or ask me to stop recording before. Uh, but again, this it, I try and wear a black backpack. I try and also wear a black shirt if I'm ever recording in a public place, just so it doesn't stand out as much. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a great little device. I think this was about twenty five dollars or thirty dollars from uh, JB Hi-Fi for this mount. So I'll find the link and I'll put that in the description for those. The next important part of my YouTube videos is definitely what I write down. I've been trying to create video content and ideas well in advance of about two weeks at the moment and uh, I don't find that sometimes I get time to uh, film and edit and uh, get everything done for you guys um, you know routinely uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays but they definitely are around those days so um, everything that I come up with will be written in one of these books or it'll be written in this book, uh, which is my Instagram photography sort of like ideas and you know what parts of my collection I've been asked to show as well. Uh, so whenever you guys hit the comment section on any of my videos, I do try and read them within the first like hour of the video going live. Um, and then I do check back regularly as well. So do always hit the comment section um, and ask me any questions on how I filmed a video, music in a video, um, if you want to see anything else from the collection, I do try and like obviously create content around that as well as my own ideas uh, that I've got going on. So this is also another important part um, of the whole thing. So I make sure that I stick to a schedule and I block off time for myself to make sure that I uh, do all of my editing. Next uh, will be my live streaming. So uh, I try to um, stream a couple of times a week, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. I use the Elgato HD 60S. Uh, I also use this to capture my gameplay. So if there's gameplay in videos, I use, I play the video game and then I record it on my computer and then I cut that out and then I use that in videos as well. Um, the other item I use is an upgraded camera for my setup when I'm streaming, so it's a lot clearer. And I use this Logitech HD webcam. Now from memory, when I purchased the Elgato, it was around $260 from JB Hi-Fi. And the camera um, was bought for me as a gift. Um, however, I think this was probably around the 150 mark, I think. Um, so they definitely helped with my streaming. Before that, if I was going to stream, it was just running straight from my PS4 online um, and you don't have any access to Streamlabs or anything like that. But I definitely would go into a stream setup video um, for all of you on how to do it via your PS4 and also retro games um, by using all of the stuff that you see here. And then lastly, my last um, gift to myself was a rig headset. Now I did buy a different version than this uh, and it did not work with my PlayStation 4. Um, so what ended up happening was uh, my EB games was fantastic and uh, they know me a little bit so I ended up going back down there and I said look um, it doesn't work exactly what I would like to um, do so uh, they let me switch it over for the PS4, um, the 400HS, uh, it's also camo, I love camo. And uh, yeah, I was able to get that from them. The uh, addition to that for when I use my microphone uh, live streaming, I do have um, this splitter sort of thing. <laughs> I can't exactly say, it's like uh, what the cable is called. Um, but my microphone goes in here and then this uh, obviously captures, um, it allows for my voice to be captured and also for me to be able to hear the gameplay through um, using Streamlabs and everything working together on my laptop. So this was uh, about $7. This headset works fantastic for the price point and it was $79 from EB Games Australia and I highly recommend it. It's comfortable um, and it worked quite well. It's, it is working quite well uh, during the streams. But yeah! Uh, this is so far my setup um, and how I record my videos for YouTube and my live streams. 
I will go into the live stream setup if you would like to go um, hit the comment section below and let me know if you would like to know whether you'd like to see it set up for PlayStation 4 or my PlayStation or retro, more retro. Uh, so anything from the NES and Super Nintendo, we're going to show you how to do that as well. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've had a, um, you've enjoyed watching behind the scenes um, of how I do a video and setting up uh, and the gear that I use. Uh, all of the gear will be linked in the description below except for this camera because it's an oldie but a goodie but I will make sure that I find all the other information for you guys um, and do always be on the lookout for discount codes and bargains uh, from retailers on eBay. I can't recommend that enough. Uh, I've tried to create this channel on a budget and I felt like I've done that pretty well. My biggest investment so far has obviously been this camera and then obviously the road mic just, you know, to make sure that the quality of the videos is fantastic. Um, and yeah, this camera got me through to the first 1000. Uh, but thank you very much everyone for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.